Sometimes it can be a little confusing to distinguish between a frame line and a neat line and how those relate to a data frame in ArcGIS. So this is just a brief video to clarify what the differences are between the two. Okay, the quickly the definitions are that a frame line is the line around every other map element. In other words, it's a line that contains everything else. Within that, you might or might not have a neat line that contains the actual mapped area. So I'll quickly show you how this works so you get a sense of, of what each one is. So here we have a mapped area of Canada. And if I just left this the way it is now and I put all my other map elements, like a legend, title, uh, etc., inside that box, then the data frame line itself can act as though it's the frame line. Essentially, it would be the same thing. And you could just leave it as it is. Or, by the way, you can modify this. If I select it and right-click, go to Properties, I can change that the characteristics of that border. I could change the thickness of it. I can change the color of it. Um, let's, you know, whatever, make it blue. And so that's the line around my map, which also happens to be the line defining the data frame. So if I included everything else inside that, let's just, uh, for the sake of example, we'll put in a, uh, hmm, what would be useful here? Not much. Maybe the legend. So I'll just add a legend here. So now if that legend is inside that box, that becomes the frame line. Now, a couple of things. If I wanted to, for example, if I said to myself, you know what, I want to make this not take up the entire page, I would can do something like that, have the legend outside the box, then I would want to have a frame line around the entire page. Okay, now, that's the, the difference here, here, the distinguishing thing, is that ArcGIS does not make uh, distinguish between frame line and neat line. Essentially, you can just go to insert and neat line, and this will draw a box around either the data frame or the page. Now, uh, what I would recommend, at least the way I tend to do it, is that I use uh, the option to place inside the margins. And that way, the, the box is being placed with reference to the page itself, not the other elements. Because you may want to move those elements around, and this just gives you a bit more control. You can set the gap, the offset from the edge of the page. So here it's 10 points. I'll just leave it like that for now. And if I click, and by the way, you can change the, the effect. If you want to change the color or whatever, you can do that. Click OK. And so now I have a neat line, or sorry, a frame line around the entire page. ArcGIS calls a neat line. So the difference here is that in blue, we have a neat line around our mapped area, and in black, we have a frame line for the entire page. Okay, so that's the difference. And this um, becomes even more important if I zoom in, say I was making a map of one part of Canada, where the map goes right to the edge of the data frame, then this neat line uh, is even more important because you want to be able to define that area around the map. So in blue we have our neat line, in black we have our frame line. I hope that clarifies things. And uh, so you can then move these around on the page, you can change the dimensions of them, the colors of them, but essentially those are the two concepts.